With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello. Today we have a question. The question is. The daily wages of IT workers in a project are given below. Now here these are the wages of workers which are given. Now in this table, the number of wages, the number of workers who receive the wages from between 400 to 450 is two people, and 450 to 500 is six people, and so on. It is given here. Now what are we supposed to do in this question? In this question. Using a graph paper, we have to draw an augive curve about distribution, and we have to use a scale of two centimeter equal to fifty rupees on x-axis and two centimeter equal to ten workers on y-axis. Now we have to use this graph to estimate the median wage for the workers. Now, before drawing this table, let us see here how to proceed with our information. Now, in this, what is our upper boundary? Yes. In this table, we write upper boundary and frequency, then lower boundary, and then frequency of the lower boundary. Now let us see. First, let us fill this upper boundary table. For upper boundary, now how many workers are receiving a wage of 400? Zero, right? Because Now 400 to 450 are two. That means less than 400 is zero. Yes, and then 450, meaning here we get two. Here frequency is cumulative frequency. Yes, that means for 500, how much do we get? Zero plus two plus six. Yes, which is eight. Similarly, for 550, 600, 700, 600, and then 750. Yes or no? Six hundred, and then what is our boundary here? We have six fifty, and then we have seven hundred, and then seven fifty. Now, for eight, what are we supposed to add? Twelve. Yes, for eight, if we add twelve, what do we get here? Twenty, and then twenty plus eighteen, we get it as thirty-eight, and then thirty-eight plus twenty-four, how much do we get? It as sixty-two. 62. Then we have how many? 13 workers, and plus 13 we get it as 75. And then last how many we have? Five workers, which means we get it as 80. Now this is our upper bound. Now what does our lower bound start here? Let us see how that comes. Now we have 400 here, 450, 500, 550, 600, 650, 700, and 7. Yes, here what do we get our frequency? For 400, our cumulative frequency is at 80. So therefore, this is our 80. And what is 80 minus 2? 400 to 450, we have two members. So what is 80 minus 2? It is 78. 78 minus 6, it is 72. And 72 minus what is after 72? 72 minus 2 value is 60. 60 minus 18 is 42. 60 minus 18. After that, we have 24. 42 minus 24 is we get it as 18. And then if we do subtraction with 13, we get it as 5 and then 0. Yes. This is our upper bound frequency and this is our lower bound frequency. Now our table is ready. Now let us see how to draw this augive curve. Now here we have this graph paper in which on x-axis we have wages. Yes, that is cost wages in rupees. Yes or no? Wages in rupees. On y-axis we have number of workers. Yes, on y-axis we have number of workers. Now let us draw a curve here. Now at 400, what is our upper bound? It is at zero. Yes or no? Yes. Let us take another pen here. This is our zero. And then at 450 we are at two. Yes, this is our point. And then at 500 we are at eight, which means we are approximately here. Yes or no? Yes, this is our point. This is our point. And at 550 we are at 20. This is our point. At 600 we are at 38, which is above here, and this is our 38. And then at 650 where are we? At 650 we are at 62, which means we are approximately this is our 650, and we are here. 
and now what are we at 70 at 700 we are at 75 yes or no that means where do we get here 75 this is approximately 75 and at 750 where are we we are at 80 yes now this is our curve now let us join this and see how our upper bound curve looks like this is our upper bound curve and we are joining all these points we have to join this using a free line yes or no yes we are not supposed to draw using you are not supposed to draw using the lines yes now this is our line let us point these points again so that it will be easy for us to identify the lines in future yes now these are our points and now let us draw our lower bound frequency what is our lower bound frequency curve here here our lower bound frequency is in this point we have 400 at 400 we are at 80 yes this is our 400 and then at 450 we are at 78 which is approximately here and we are here and then at 500 where are we we are at 72 which is approximately here and at 550 where are we at 550 we are at 60 which is here at 600 we are at 42 where is 42 this is approximately 42 and then at 650 where are we we are at 18 that means which is 18 here this is 18 approximately and then at 700 we are at 5 which is here and at 750 we are at 0 yes now let us join this curve and see how it looks yes let us join it here from here now this is our curve point and here while starting from here this is how it looks yes this is our free curve joining all the points from here to here yes now what is our median in our question what are we supposed to do we have to find the median wage of the workers now looking at the curve median wage median wage of workers is nothing but the point workers is equal to the point where upper bound curve and lower bound curve joins therefore here is our point right this is our point of median wage curve therefore our this is our point therefore our median wage curve is attached at a point 42 therefore our median of median of wage workers is around this is a point at 42 now where is this 42 where is this 42 joining this is joining around somewhere around 600 to 650 and it is near to first box yes here each box represents a 5 therefore what do we get here it is approximately 604 rupees yes therefore median wage median wage is equal to 604 rupees yes this is our answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today